23 of Matthew and in verse 25 it says woe unto you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites understand Christ full of love Christ is gentle and lowly and yet when he knows anything in the lives of the people in the hearts of the people that will not help them to get to heaven and also will hinder other people from getting to heaven because they were the leaders of the day and the leaders of the people will be so strong against them and they will condemn that attitude and that tradition and that disposition that tries to say where the truth people and were the people leading you into the kingdom of God yet they were blocking the way for them so it was very strong and he said woe unto you scribes and Pharisees hypocrites for ye clean ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter but within they are full of extortion and excess. In verse 28, it says in verse 28, Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men. Appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. That's what we need to check up in our personal experience. We try, many people try to maintain the outward form, the outward format of deeper life Bible church, the externals, and they are very, very strict on that. But the internal is neglected. There's no time to pray. There's no time to examine our hearts. There's no time to say, am I ready for the coming of the Lord? Am I watching over the, the principles of the world, the prophecy of the world, the promises in the world? Do I have in me the heart? to obey the Lord all the time or is it just the external thing that you know we're not very serious about that's why Jesus said that outward kind of religion that is based on tradition that to have established here and there it doesn't matter in the sight of God because we're full of hypocrisy and iniquity look at verse 33 in verse 33 ye serpents and generation of vipers how can ye escape the damnation of hell